Thank you for calling Cyber Mac Tech Support. My name is Max. How may I help you? Hello, my name is Ashley Blairwood. I am just calling in because I've tried to log into my account about three times, but I haven't been very successful. So I was wanting to know to, uh, if you could be able to help me out with that. Okay, Ms. Blairwood, I'm sorry to hear that. Let me take a look here and see what I can do. And you said you came in today and you're not able to log into your account? That is correct. Okay, let me put you on a brief fall while I take a look into your account. Can you give me a few minutes? Yes, thank you. No problem. Okay, so as you can see here that the user called in and they're not able to log in and now we have to reset the password. So to reset the user's password, you want to log into the Active Directory server. So we're going to log in as admin. So let's enter our admin password. So once you log into the Active Directory server, you want to go to Server Manager. And once on this page, you want to go to Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. And usually for the most part, if you doing working with a user and you're taking a little bit longer than usual and you have the user on mute, you want to go back on the line and just let the user know that you're still troubleshooting and you're trying to come up with a resolution. That way they, they're not just sitting there. So this user's name is Ashley and they're called in saying that they're having issues logging into their account. So now we're going to look for the user. As we can see here, Ashley is right here. You can find the user under the user group under the domain or you can search for the user right here. So if we were to search for her name, And as you can see, the user's name came up. So for the most part, this might be easier if you do it by last name instead of first name, because it's rare for a lot of people to have the same last name. So if you do it by first name, it might be you might have find a lot of people with the name Ashley. So if you do it by last name, it might be easier to find. So now the user is having password issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset the user's password. And we also want to make sure that the user is able to change their password at the next login. So if you can see here, once you hit reset password, you want the user to change the password at the next login. Since she tried her password more than at least three times by our password policy, then the account is locked. So you also want to unlock the account. Okay, Ashley, I'm going to set a temporary password here and then I'll give you that in a few minutes. So just give me a few moments while I set that up. Okay, thank you. All right, so as you can see here now, I changed the user's password and I want the user to be able to log in at, at the next login. So now we'll hit OK. All right, Ashley, so I just reset your password. So now I'm going to have you try and log in and you can let me know that if you're able to log in. So your username is first initial last name, that's your username. And the password is password at one, two, three, four, five. So try that password and let me know if you can log in. Okay. So as you can see here, the user is trying the password. All right, it looks like it worked. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Okay, Ms. Bloward, so you are able to log into your account? Yes. All righty. Thank you very much for calling CyberMag Tech Services, and you have a great day. Thank you. You as well. All righty. Bye-bye. Right. So this is how a typical call will sound on a help desk. I just did that call with my girlfriend. So as you can see, on a help desk or a desktop support role, if a user called in, that's what a typical call will sound like. So as you can see here now, let's try that password I just gave to Ashley and then we'll, we can go ahead and see if that password works and if the user must change the password at the next login. So now the password we gave to the user it works, but then the user have to change the password before they can sign in. So 
when you reset the user's password, you want to make sure that the the checkbox for the check password at next login is checked. That way the user can change the password. So once the user hit OK, they'll ha get the option to change the password. And if the password does not meet the complexity requirement, it may not work. So let's say if there's a mistake, as you can see here, the password did not match. So then on this box, the user will have to put the temporary password that you reset it. And then on the second box, they'll put the new password. So as you can see here, the password has been set and then the user will confirm if they were to log in. So there you go. The password works and the user is able to log in and they confirm that and you confirm it on your end. And that's pretty much it. They should be good to go and they should be able to log in. So this is how you would typically do a password reset on Active Directory. If you get a call in someone saying they can't log in to try the password multiple times or they forget the password. That's pretty much how you do it. So as you can see here, this user is able to log into her workstation. You reset her password and you give her the option to change her password. As you can see here, that's the user's name. And that's pretty much it. So on a typical day, you'd answer about a lot of these calls during the you a regular day at the help desk level or desktop support if you answer password reset tickets. So that's pretty much what a typical day at a help desk look like. A call comes in, users having password issue or printer issue, and you'll troubleshoot that issue and then make sure that everything's good to go before you get off the phone. And also you have your ticket queue that you're monitoring. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time for more videos. Thank you.